fighting much longer Patrick McCaffrey, and he ultimately loses the rebound battle. Here's Jordan Bohannon to Toussaint on the wing. Toussaint shot just 11 three-pointers all of last season. That's a good start. Don, a little less experienced. Again, what I love here is there's no hesitation, okay? Billy Domlin, the former Northwestern assistant, the head coach of Kansas City. Scoring early in the clock, what Iowa loves to do. Bohannon gets up his first and makes his first. Record counter is on, down to three to tie the record. Did not have good outside shooting numbers his first couple of years. Alec is stripped. It's McCaffrey running the break. Pretty feed and a dunk for Murray. Play to look at Joe T. That's where it all started, collapsing the defense, ripping it out. We talked about Patrick and his skill set. Very unselfish. There's Bull Hannon, bombs away and almost on his first shot tied the record. Another chance for Bull Hannon. Got He is not tied. Eulis. Got to go up with it. Aaron Eulis got the roll at the horn. Murray, a big piece of that as he goes to work. Working inside to McCaffrey. Back out it goes for a three from Murray. And Keegan Murray with his fifth made three of the year. As he hits one from deep. And a 67-32 Iowa lead. And now a steal for Bohannon. And Bohannon with five quick points. That was a 69-54 setback. Knocked away. And a steal. And Keegan Murray with the two-hand jam. 99.6 points a game. That's number one in the entire nation. Yep, and uh, just ahead of Gonzaga, number one ranked Gonzaga. 170th meeting between these two teams. Purdue with a 92-77 edge in the series. Inside, Rapaccio wide open. Now that's a scouting report play by Iowa right here. Patrick does a really good job of dragging out Travion Williams, and Rebracha is wide open. Yeah, it leads the Big Ten in three three point shots made per game at three. So he's always putting pressure on opposing defenses. Here's Murray against Hawkins and Keegan Murray on the board. <laughs> Kobe Coburn just three points in that first half. 39 36. Keegan Murray held the two. Can he get it going in the second half? McCaffrey on the attack with five on the shot clock. The fake for Bracha back up to McCaffrey for three. Get rid of the foul! I mean, you got seven foot 290 flying at you. That might bother you a little bit. Not Patrick McCaffrey. Nice concentration. Well, their coaching staff said today they better get that figured out quick against the Aggies. Here's Bohannon with three against Miller. He'll drive, create, finger roll goes for Bohannon. Uh, on that pick and pop action, and uh, Jordan Bohannon. Rebracha trying to back Horvath down, went left, spun right. Murray to follow in one. That's probably the worst game he's ever played in his career. He could not buy a bucket, missed a bunch of bunnies. That's a weight room. Jumper from 12 feet. Gus Okafor misses the step back three. He's Southeastern Louisiana's leading scorer. Toussaint settles it down. Nifty pass from Robracha, who passes it right along to Keegan Murray. The Iowa offense starting to find their rhythm. Beautiful passing. Robracha setting up Keegan Murray for the jam. Patrick McCaffrey with five seconds until halftime. Perkins with the layup off the glass. Just bound ahead for Rabracha for the right hand slam. Look at the previous play. And we'll just look at him take off, literally take off from the Big Ten logo. Now the Hawkeyes will hold for the final shot. Bohannon puts it up and in as the buzzer will sound and the Hawkeyes will go to the locker room with a 20 point lead. Play right there, time and score, 10 seconds left. Times this out just perfectly, gets the basket with one second left. He had 25 points and 20 rebounds. 27 and 21, the official numbers against North Carolina Central. First one to do that since Bruce King in 1977 for the Hawkeyes. There's Murray. We, we're talking about Keegan Murray, Johnny Davis with, believe me, Brad Davis is going to have some impact on this game. Oh, what a feed from Joe Toussaint to get it into Keegan Murray. Oh, Shot clock down to five. Here is Murray stepping back and drawing a three. They can 
get up and down the floor, no question about it. But right here, clock running down. Patrick McCaffrey now to Murray. He's in foul trouble last time out. 19 or 22 minutes scored, only 12 points. Here's a nice slip, Bohannon to Rebracha. Harper just two points so far, 31 a career high at Maryland on Saturday. Harper driving inside. Good work by Chris Murray behind. Wow, that was going to be a layup. Five ways. Ron Harper Jr.'s got Philip Rebracha driving it down that right lane line. They're going to need Rebracha to really rebound here this afternoon. McCaffrey launching and hits from long range. Patrick McCaffrey. Pick roll and replace for Edie to score. A nice find. Who saw it, but Rebracha can't finish at the rim. Bohannon a launch. He'll hit. Egan Murray, 0 of 3 to start this game. Hands all over him. No foul. Offensive board for Rebracha. And an opportunity for three. All right, without John Hare in the lineup, getting a little breather. This is where LaRoche has got to make him make his move. No timeouts. Hawkeyes have to go. Bohannon into the front court. Spins. Has to get it up. Heave for the win. It's tapped in. It's tapped in. Keegan Murray at the buzzer to send this game to overtime. Going for the win. There's Keegan Murray. Woo! Battle missing there. No, it speaks to all the other things Iowa does so well, right? And they get to the free throw line. And as I say it on cue, Keegan Murray does just that. Player in the conference. Keegan Murray in transition is so dangerous. Gets going downhill. Here's Fats Russell, who lost it on the way up in the Iowa turnover for Tony Perkins in his second start in a row. Bohannon rains it down. You said it. He shoots very well in this defense. Bohannon with three. Sways into the shell. But Jordan Bohannon is just making a tough play. Dante Scott does a pretty good job staying down here and getting a contest. He just rocks you to sleep. Murray back the other way. Murray, the two-hand jam, and the foul. Is that impressive? It starts with great length on the ball, poking the ball free from Patrick McCaffrey. And then, again, this is your four-man pushing it in transition, step through, dunk. Keegan Murray, the Big Ten leading scorer, also player of the week. Had 37 in his last game. Count that one and the foul. And I go back to the point where the pace allows him to be patient, where you can pick out the matchup you like, and if you get space, he's nearly unguardable. Uh, but uh, Musa Diabate is going to give you great energy. We talked about this with Coach. Yeah, we did. They, they, right. won, they won one of these, what, three years ago yeah. against, against Rutgers. Wow. Murray! <laughs> nine ties, nine lead changes, and this was the ninth. That jumper by Keegan Murray. He's got 13 here in his first half. Fade fires at the buzzer. Keegan's game to expand, but he put in the work over the summer. Beautiful play right here out of the timeout. That time to get Murray. Pay attention in the timeout. I'm going to draw up a play. Now, whether we score the basket or not, sometimes you can't control it, but do you execute? I don't even think Kyle Young had enough space on the baseline to be able to catch that and finish. Chris Murray turns. Wow. Woo! <laughs> McCaffrey is two sets of you know, brothers on this team, and these two right here play off each other so well. Look, you've been quiet. Keegan has, but when you need him. Columbus dispatch writer Adam Darty about the Big Ten and its turnover rate defensively. Oh, Murray absolutely put him in the blender for two more. That's good defense by Malik Hall. You got to tip your cap on a play like that. Bohannon. Bob it up top. The feed and the finish. Rebracca, right place, right time. And instead, it's Iowa who will walk into the locker room. Jordan thought about it. Perkins. Pull up goes. Toussaint takes it right back. Joe Toussaint. He's got Chris Murray to his left. He'll go reverse and put it in. That was a Toussaint highlight reel from end to end. 
There's Tony Perkins back out to Bohannon. Deep three for the best that's ever done. Chris Murray thought about it. Said he'll drive it to the rim and throw it down. Chris Murray goes down hard after the dunk, holding his tailbone. A, a budding star right in front of our eyes by one and on another. I mean, that is what an awesome, awesome move. Two coaches are really good. These teams don't like each other. They have history. And then they're both playing for seeding. Two shot lays it. They are. The Hawkeyes are 18 and 0 this year when they out rebound their opponent. Shot clock down to three. It's Perkins leaning, hoisting, and hitting. Tony Perkins off balance three. He's been lightning in a bottle. This is good defense. And sometimes they better be lucky than good. They haven't taken bad shots either, Kevin. Bo had it two seconds. One second. The scoop to the rim and the window. Caps a nearly perfect Hawkeye half. Three seconds. Two seconds. Laquetta, he'll launch the three. And banks it home. 19 made threes. Luke Laquetta. Using the bank late on a Thursday. That's the type of game it's been, hasn't it? Oh, Keegan Murray with a good box out. Hawks looking to run. They're so good in the open floor. Keegan Ooh. end to end for the one-hand flush. Bringing it out of nowhere. Remarkable. Sorry for your right arm, Kevin. I had to grab you on that one. That was nasty right there. It's okay. I've got a second arm. <laughs> Keegan Murray stretching out over two Rutgers defenders. With the clenched fist, letting you know I'm here all day. Rutgers has missed their last eight shots, down by five. McCaffrey lobbing inside. Murray with the finish of the foul. Just because you think you're in position, they don't stop. Keegan Murray gets behind. Omori able to get the alley oop and one opportunity. Iowa feeling good about themselves right now. He's got a great stroke. Underneath they go, and it drops. Chance to take the lead for the first time at the line. Just great awareness, great hands right there, and the ability to concentrate, absorb the contact on that foul. Baseline rubs. Five to go. Bohannon, way outside, launches the shot. By Indiana. Didn't look like Iowa was going to run anything, but as you said, launches from Curry range. Talk about great kisses. That's one of the wow. most affectionate smooches of all time hey, in this, Iowa history. Th this actually, this tournament goes back to 1998, the first year of the comp. Got to stay on him. Quickly late in the shot clock. Will he bank it this time? Don't go too late. No, oh, it was in time. It was in time. Oh, yeah. How about that? Oh, man. But it's, it's a I don't know if you should throw it, but you got to get the defense out. But it's a two-possession game right now yeah. for Doom. And they do throw oh. the home run. The too far? Uh, he'll chase after it. Oh, oh. He puts it down. Woo. What a pass by McCaffrey. Who would have thought? Pretty good pass here after all. Called it. Right you're, here. The, you're the expert on these. <laughs> but much better than that. Two Kentucky oh, pass. Oh man, you might be right. No, no, no. <laughs> but just, just look at this finish right here. They have the football team here in town looking for a quarter.